Hey guys, this video um, is just a continuation of my last tutorial um, on how to quad cap a cylinder. Um, basically, in the last video, I had presented three different modeling techniques um, to closing an open ended cylinder with quads um, for use in subdivisional modeling. Um, in the meantime, this technique uh, made itself apparent and I found it to be extremely easy to accomplish and the resulting topology is uh, perfect for transferring to a sculpting application for instance or you know a variety of other uh, subdivisional modeling requirements so we can start off with a plane um, I have my creation method for this plane set to square um, I advise you to do the same when doing this technique. So we'll start off with uh, by drawing up a square plane. Um, length and width segments should be divisible by two um, to maintain uh, good quad topology. So uh, in this case, it's the default four by four. Um, and once you have your plane drawn up, Basically, you could you're free to go ahead and change to editable poly, um, switch to border mode, grab the border edge all the way around, and from here uh, you could hold down shift and scale out some new uh, polygons. Um, so we have this now, okay, and um, from here we'll go to edge mode, and then we'll bring up our loop tools. Uh, panel and uh, this is where the magic happens here uh, I just basically click the uh, circle command and um, there you have it it's a circularized um, quad cap and um, very simple you could uh, scale it in or out a little bit uh, depending on the result you want um, I pretty much leave it like this and um, from here, we'll just uh, hold down shift, scale out our cylinder, or I'm sorry, pull out our cylinder with the uh, move tool, and uh, there it is, quad cap cylinder. And uh, again, the topology on here on the end cap is very nice, uh, evenly spaced uh, polygons. Um, so when we go ahead and uh, you know add a support edge. We can look at this uh, with a turbo smooth at one iteration. Um, that's a nice end cap there. So, and uh, we can increase that the resolution with two iterations. Um, so, yeah, this is a easy technique. It, it provides basically a very similar, if not the same, uh, topology as um, planarizing a uh, quad sphere. And um, but it's much simpler to accomplish, and uh, so I wanted to share this technique in addition to the other three in the video before this. Um, thanks to the guys in the uh, 3D modeling forum on Renderosity for uh, you know uh, making me think about that a little bit, and um, coming up with this technique is uh, I'll probably be using this from now on um, when I'm not using. Uh, the quad cap plug-in. Um, it's good to know how to manually accomplish these uh, tasks without plugins or, or scripts, um, you know, because they do transfer fairly easily to, uh, you know, the, the skill here transfers very easily to any polygonal modeling application, whether it be Blender or, uh, or so forth. I mean, Blender uh, pretty much has uh, all of the same modeling tools, although they may call them something different um, as 3ds Max does, but um, you know you can accomplish this as well in Blender the same way. All right guys, thank you very much and uh, for tuning in and I'll be back with another tutorial soon. Bye.